Hello friends, how are you all doing today? Hope you are all fine and in good health and state of mind. It is a pleasure to introduce my new playlist, Learn Photoshop CS6 with Query How To. In each tutorial, I will be showing you how to achieve a certain thing using various tools in combination. I will try to make my tutorials as simple as it can be but rich in information and easy for anyone to follow along, even the beginners. So let's begin. As you already know from the title of this video, this tutorial is about how to remove scars using Photoshop CS6. To show you, I would download a free image from Google for the demonstration, which is for educational purpose only. Let's open Google Chrome. In the address bar, write free HD scar portraits and hit enter. Free HD scar portraits. Hit enter. Click on images. We will scroll down till we find a good photo to practice upon. Yeah, this portrait would do. Click on it. Right click on it, save images, click on desktop, click on save. The image has now been saved. We can close Google Chrome now. You can see the image has been downloaded to my desktop. So now let us start Photoshop. Click on start all programs. Scroll to Adobe Master Collection CS6. Click on Adobe Photoshop CS6 64 bit. Yeah, Photoshop is loaded. So first we need to open the image that we are going to work on. So go to the menu bar, click on file, click on open. Select desktop and scroll down to find the image you are going to work on. Yeah, this is the image. So we will click on open. You can see there is a big scar to the left of her face. So go to edit, go to preferences, general. I want to zoom with the scroll wheel of my mouse. So I have ticked it. Click on OK. So we can zoom like that. Scrolling the wheel would zoom. Now, to edit non-destructively, we will duplicate this layer. But first, we will rename it to original layer. So, double click here. Write original. Hit enter. Now, to duplicate a layer, Hit Ctrl J in your keyboard or Command J in your keyboard in a Mac. So I'm using a Windows PC so I will press Ctrl J. The image has been duplicated. So we will double click on it and we will name it. Today I will show you three tools with which you can remove this scar. Pretty simple. So before renaming it to a tool, let me just show you the tools. 
that we are going to use for this image for removing this car. So this is my tools panel. In the tools panel, the sixth tool, if you click and hold, you can see there is a spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. So I will show you all the three tools that you can use to remove this scar. So first let us select spot healing brush. From this layer in the layers panel, we will double click on the duplicate layer and name it spot healing brush. So now we can use the spot healing brush right away. So let us make sure that we have selected the spot healing brush tool. So click and hold and select spot healing brush tool. Now this is the options bar of my spot healing brush tool that we just selected. So here make sure you have selected content aware and click on sample all layers. Now we will zoom a little. I think you already know but if you don't no problem you can hold space bar uh, in your keyboard and you will see the hand tool has been selected. Now you can click and drag anywhere to move the image. I don't know why it's not working. It should have worked. Okay, forget it, no problem. But uh, I think it will work in your PC. But uh, mine is a Core i3 with a 4GB RAM and I'm using uh, open broadcaster software for recording this video. So maybe the CPU is not supporting it. Nah, okay. So we will paint actually, we will paint on the scar. So click and drag over the scar. Okay, we can fine tune it. Okay, now release the mouse. And voila, it has done a good job. But you can see there are some bendings are there, right? So we can also correct it like that. Now it looks better. Not bad. We can remove this spot also. Yeah, it's done. So I'm going to show you some other examples of the other tools, okay? So then we will see which one looks best or which one works best. Remember one thing guys that uh, there are so many ways to achieve a certain thing in Photoshop. You have to do trial and error method to find the best one that works best for you. Okay, so spot healing brush done. So now we will duplicate this original layer again. Now I will show you another method to duplicate. So you can click on this original layer and drag it to this create a new item or create a new layer button. And you can see we have duplicated the original layer. So now we will rename it to the second tool, the healing brush tool. Okay, so let us select the healing brush tool, the second tool. Now make sure in the sample current and below is selected. Select the layer healing brush tool from the layers panel. Oh, if I scroll my scroll bar and my mouse you can see this is changing right so make sure it doesn't change when you 
try to remove the scar. Okay. One more thing is that we need to make it invisible, the spot healing brush layer. So click on this eye beside the spot healing brush layer. So now we are working on healing brush tool layer and I will select current and below and from the sixth tool I will select the second option healing brush tool. Now to zoom I will press Z in my keyboard and click a little click okay oh now it's working you see I hold my space bar on my keyboard and I can move the mouse around to move the image fine so now select the healing brush tool again and then sample from a good area and paint over the scar what it will do is it will sample the texture from the area you define and keep the colors intact in the scar so I will sample from here so press alt in your keyboard and click in this area release alt and now you can paint yeah paint you can sample from this area again paint like that again sample from this area paint sample from this area paint sample paint okay we'll hold space move it around sample from this area i'll paint here again i'll paint here okay it's it has done a good job not bad Now I will sample from this side because you see it is a little bit darker. So to uh, have a good transition between bright and dark, I'll do this again. So Okay, again hold space, move around. You can see a little bit of reddish skin here. So we can sample from the bright part and paint over this area where it's reddish. Okay, let's zoom out. Yeah, not bad. I think it's good. But, uh, okay, let's sample again and see if... Let's uh, enlarge the brush size like that. Sample from this area and we can paint over here. Let's see. Yeah, now it's. I think it looks good. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Done. So that was healing brush tool. Now the third tool. So if you go to the sixth option in the tools panel, click and hold. The third tool is the patch tool. So select it, click on it. Fine. So before using the patch tool, we need to duplicate our original layer again. And before that, hide the layer, healing brush tool. Fine, so we can see the original layer with the scar. So duplicate it, so control J on a PC and command J on a Mac. Rename this layer to patch tool. Okay, so now to use the patch tool, we will zoom on the scar, hold space, move around, to see it better and then simply click and drag to select the area that you want to patch.
and then click on this selection and drag it to the good part you want to patch with so click and drag this thing towards the right to the good part with which you want to patch the scar that you have selected so hold mouse button again i mean space bar again and move around select the area that you want to patch move the selected area to the good part you want to patch with and release the mouse again hold the space and move around select the part you want to patch click and drag to the part you want to patch with done this area looks bad so again patch it i don't want this so fine okay this doesn't blend so a little bit like that Not bad. Just try to blend it, okay? This reddish area with the bright area. I think it's good enough. Not bad. Yeah, it has done a great job. So guys that was the patch tool. I think it was pretty simple, right? Straightforward. There may be some other ways, uh, some advanced and complex ways, but uh, why would you go to a complex method when you can simply do it with uh, at ease, you know? So let's compare the results, okay? The uppermost layer is the spot healing brush layer, right? So if this is visible, it means we can, we are now seeing this one, okay? So, after removing the scar, it looks like this. Okay, fine. Now, if we hide this layer, this is the result of the healing brush tool. This also looks great to me. Not bad. Uh, let's see the spot healing brush again. Okay, there, there is some bright area, maybe. I think healing brush tool blend it nicely right fine let's hide this healing brush tool you can see this is the result of the patch tool i think uh, patch tool gave me a good result right so that was it how to remove scars from a face so guys thanks a lot for watching my video do like, subscribe and comment to support me. Your subscription matters to me as it will help grow my channel. So thanks a lot again. Good luck.